Queen's Indian Defense, Kasparov Variation, Petrosian Variation, Anderson Variation. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed Black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White overpowered Black in the middle game. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. E6 prepares for a quick d5 pawn push and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. c4 obtains room in the middle and on the queen side and gets ready to advance the knight to c3. The d5 pawn is supported by e6 and the bishop on the dark squares can advance. nf3 develops toward the center, putting pressure on the e5 square and adding another defender to the d4 pawn. The light squared bishop is getting ready to be fianchetto by the queen's Indian defense on b7, where it will affect the long diagonal. The d5 and e4 squares are under the control of nc3, which advances the knight into the center. Fianchetto move bb7 places the bishop on the long diagonal. A3 controls the b4 square, stopping black's normal plan of pinning the c3 knight with bb4. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is a fair deal after all captures. Recaptures. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is the final book action. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This prepares the bishop for development. It is excellent. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is quite good. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. It is ideal. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. This threatens to kick a bishop. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. That's good. By growing a queen from its beginning square, this activates the queen. That's good. Very precise. It is best. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. That's good. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. This stops the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Making the adversary double their pawns makes it easier to establish flaws. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This poses a threat to a bishop who is confined. It is ideal. In addition to winning a tempo on a bishop, this enables the adversary to develop a piece. It is incorrect. This threatens to attack a trapped bishop. It is a miss. This divides up parts by launching multiple attacks at once. It is a wise decision. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This wastes a chance to protect a pawn that was being attacked. It is incorrect. That was a great move and very hard to find. This prevents the opponent from being able to kick a queen. It is brilliant. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. This threatens to win a bishop. It is excellent. That was a truly amazing move. It is brilliant. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. That was a truly amazing move. It is brilliant. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. That's good. The pawn is now in a safe position. It is quite good. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. Backs off. This poses a checkmate threat. It is ideal. A wise decision. It is quite good. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is ideal. This frees a pawn to adequately defend another piece. It is forced. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. 
sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed Black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White overpowered Black in the middle game.